What you guys got another video microsoft's new upgrade option for windows 10 users well at least 240 million windows 10 users will have the option to transfer all their information from this pc to another by using the tool that has been hidden in windows 10. they are forcing and rushing to get this released for a lot of windows users that have the option to upgrade or to go to Windows 11 on their old system. Unfortunately, that still leaves hundreds of millions of people that aren't going to be able to upgrade to Windows 11. And Microsoft don't seem to care about those particular people because they're not giving them an option at all. They've just said to them, end of life for Windows 10 is coming. You have one year extended support option and that is it. That's all we're all getting. But People that have a PC that is eligible to install Windows 11 or upgrade to Windows 11, Microsoft are making a big last ditched push to try and get those to transition over. And it's estimated at around 240 million people or 240 million machines. That's a lot. And I think that will then just tip the edge to get people over the line because it is pretty close. I showed yesterday in the stat counter that Windows 11 is gaining really fast on Windows 10 and it will surpass it. But I think Microsoft are running out of time to try and get those final few people over. Unfortunately, a lot of people just don't want to go to Windows 11 and they're holding fast. So maybe these people will not go to Windows 11 and choose to stay on Windows 10 and pay the $30 to stay on Windows 10 because a lot of people like Windows 10 better. Also, there's a bunch of people that may even ditch Windows altogether and go to Linux because Linux has plenty of options available that will give them a choice to choose one of those uh, distros and install it on their system. Even though they have a compatible PC, some people are just sick to death of Microsoft and you can't blame them. So let's take a look at this tool anyway when it's rolled out to you. So they are pushing this out quickly. It's in a insider program at the moment, and it will appear in the optional optional features area here where you'll be able to toggle this on, and it will be called something like transfer or migration or something like that. It will be in there, but it's not in there just yet. So you have to use the uh, Vive tool to basically enable this feature. It has to be a particular type of build as well, and I'll show you that build in a second. So I've already gone ahead and got this enabled. I don't want to show people how to enable it because it's going to be pretty much short-lived. So we'll go for Windows Backup here. Just type Windows Backup or Backup and you will see the new Windows Backup feature. It's called Transfer Information to New PC. So basically, it's going to transfer all of your user profile stuff over to a new computer. So everything you have stored in your user profile will be transferred over to that new system they both have to be on the same network it will send a special code to the other pc you just agree on that code and then you'll be able to transfer all of the selected files over i'm not going to go through the transfer process it's going to be straightforward you can see transfer information from this pc to another and you can see right here you'll have to pair your pc uh, you need to enter in that code. It will get the code and you can enter it in. This is in, uh, you know, testing stage at the no moment. They haven't released it, so I can't really show you the whole full process. But I think they're trying to hurry this up because there's a lot of people that are still stuck on Windows 10. And I think Microsoft believe that they're stuck on Windows 10 because they're probably waiting for the end of life of Windows 10 and then they will transition over to Windows 11. But there's no guarantee that they are because people are just literally sick to the back teeth with Microsoft and their shenanigans. And some people are even tempted to jump ship to Linux or even try other options. And Windows 11 24H2 has been plagued with problem after problem. And people just know they don't want to go to that version of Windows 11 also, with all the telemetry and the data harvesting and the recall and all this other stuff, you can also back up your computer with this application as well. If you need to back up folders, apps and other stuff as well, you can do that via this method as well. 
So let me quickly show you the build so you can see the build I'm on here. It's on the Insider program. So let me just type Winver here and you can see we do have the version right there, 22H2, and there's the build number. Now, I will say, now over the last few years, Microsoft have been under major scrutiny by its users because they have been bombarded with recall, which was a major headache for Microsoft. The backlash was unreal. Then they had Copilot pretty much being installed just about on every application inside Windows as well. And they've even injected it into Windows 10. Why they did that, knowing that Windows 10 was coming to end, a bit of a pointless thing, but maybe they'd love to upset their user base. I really don't know. There's also been the forced Microsoft account saga where they've been trying to force people to sign into a Microsoft account and then they started stepping up their campaign of blocking methods to bypass it, to use local accounts. And now they've just made it really, really difficult during the installation process. Every time they block something, people find a workaround to try to uh, bypass it to stay on a local account. They should give, give people a choice rather than force people. But this is the path that Microsoft are on at the moment, and I don't think people are too happy with it. If you're wondering why this week, a couple of videos have been taken down. One of them was taken down by YouTube, but I've managed to get that back up. Uh, misunderstanding there. And the other one was just to avoid any sort of drama, so I took that one down myself. So if you're on Windows 10, and uh, let me know in the comments section down below uh, what you're going to be doing with your system, whether you have a compatible a system that can be upgraded to Windows 11 and what you're going to do, whether you are going to upgrade, whether you're going to stay on Windows 10 for another year or whether you're going to install another version of Windows 10 like IoT, LCSE, or just let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I'd be interested to read people's comments on what their decision is and how many people are even tempted to go to Linux. I'll be interested to read all of those and what distro you're going to be installing on your system. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this one. Just a really quick video uh, on how Microsoft are still trying to coax people to go on to Windows 11. It never ceases to amaze me. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who are joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. It doesn't matter whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate it, guys. Anyway, with that said, I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.